Hi guys, my name is Lynn Thomas and I'm an actress. Um, I started out doing this work um, about 2014, but going back a bit to 2012, I decided that I wanted to have a go at big doing background work, which to you means extras. So I started off doing that, really enjoyed it and thought I want to do more. So I started looking around I initially did a course at City of Bristol College, uh, which was so-so, it was okay. Um, it was a 12 week course, which was basically an introduction to acting. And as I said, it, 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 it taught me the basics, but it wasn't enough. So I then thought, what, what else can I do? So I dived in and applied to the Bristol Old Vic Theatre School, thinking that if I get an audition, it will give me an idea of what it's like to audition. Well, blow me down, I got offered a place on their um, one year part time course, which um, basically I haven't looked back since then. So um, I started off just doing small things, mainly student films, um, unpaid, but always that I could actually get um, to do work with script. And from there, I built it slowly, bit by bit. So at the moment, I'm represented by a um, quite a reputable London talent agency, and they manage my career completely. So in terms of um, the work I get put forward for, which they call submitted, they sort all of that. Casting directors get in touch with them. And if, say, they are looking for a black woman, um, to play a mother, to play a doctor, to play whatever, um, between the ages of 40 to 50, although I get cast as 35 sometimes, I'm a lot older than that. Um, so if they're looking for somebody for that character, they will send out a, what's called a casting call, and it's up to my, my agent then to say yay or nay, and then come to me and say, I would like you to, um, I'm putting you forward for this. I would like you to either go to a, an audition, which is called casting, always in London. Um, I don't live in London. Um, or if we're lucky, they'll ask for what's called a self-tape. What that means is, like I'm doing now, I have my equipment set up. So I've got a tripod, I've got my phone, which is a really good phone on there. I've got my lights set up and everything. Um, so you then, get um, what they call sides, which is a small script um, for your character. And then you record um, as if you're either speaking to somebody else or you get somebody else to read the other line. And it just gives them an idea really of whether you can act or not. So day to day, I've made some notes. So what does my normal day look like? Well, it varies. Alongside most actors and actresses, we call ourselves actor, female actor. Anyway, I don't care either way. So um, what we normally, we're, we're normally self-employed, which means we are responsible for our own accounts, our own tax, national insurance, everything. We don't actually have an employer. We just go from contract to contract, job to job. So you'll hear the phrase about actors resting. It just means nobody wants us at that time. Um, but the hope is that you get a job, say a commercial, that pays you quite a bit. And so when you're not working, you have enough money to tide you over. It's really hard to juggle to um, earn enough money and actually keep some by so that when um, you're not working, you're not being evicted out of your accommodation. So day to day, I am reading scripts. And if I'm lucky, I've only got one script on the go. At the moment, I've got three. Sometimes I have four on the go. And believe me, that melts your brain. Because what my job is as an actor is attend castings, do self-tapes, um, read script, take in the information that's on the script. From that information, build a character. And when I say build a character, you need to have and portray somebody who is believable, relatable, um, somebody that you might see next door, in your classroom, whatever. 
It needs to feel like a real person. So when I look at this script, just this piece of paper which says Trudy, mother of four, I have to build a whole story around Trudy. Her likes, her dislikes, her personalities, what's nice about her, what's not nice about her. Um, what personality flaws does she have? Um, is she a likeable person? But I just need to make her feel real. So once I've done that, I then have to just spend a vast amount of time learning script. And the only way to learn script is reputation, repetition, <laughs> repetition, repetition. You go over it and over it and over it and over it until you can remember it. Now, sometimes if, um, like say a recent film I've just done, I played the mother um, in a short film. There are only four of us. So my husband, I was a mother and two sons. So I'm the only female in the film, which means I have vast quantities of script. So um, each scene, you could have up to four pages of A4 script um, with your other characters saying hardly anything, it's maybe you. And you have to remember that because you can't be reading it. You just have to be looking at the camera as if you're talking to another person and just do it. So I use various ways. Sometimes I write it out and write it out and write it out. Sometimes I record it and go to sleep actually listening to it. But learning your script is a major thing that an actor has to do because nobody's got time for when you actually get onto the film set and you start filming, they forget their lines. It's frustrating for everybody. So that's my main job. Um, what skills and knowledge do you need for this job? None, really. Some of the greatest actors like Charlton Heston never had a bit of training in their life. But it does help. In terms of now, I understand things like camera angles. I understand the proportions. I understand where I should be looking. And this is one thing you don't do when you're acting. You don't look at the camera. You speak to somebody over here. So all conversations is off camera. You're talking over here. But you learn this. Um, so the training does help. It helps with your vocal training. It teaches you to sit up properly. It teaches you to enunciate. So we learn things like Mrs. Puggy Wuggy has a square cut punt. Not a punt cut square, but a square cut punt. It's round in the front and flat in the stern. Mrs. Puggy Wuggy has a square cut punt. And what's that doing? It's helping you with where you place your tongue so you speak properly. A bit like BBC English. So that's one of the things. It also teaches you breathing so that you can get to the end of a long sentence without doing this midway. So that's one of the things. Okay, let me just have a look. What else should I be saying to you? What motivates me? Well, I absolutely love what I do. Um, I was a social worker for 20 odd years, which was my vocation. I really enjoyed that. But I enjoy being a different person almost every day. Um, I put on different clothes. I get people to do my hair and makeup. I might have a wig on, it's whatever. I get to be a different person and make that person as believable as possible. Um, anything else I need to tell you? Um, what would I like to share with you? It wasn't a career um, choice that was offered to me when I was at school. Everybody was too busy with trying to get maths, English, etc., etc., into me. Algebra, I mean, come on. Fractions. I never use these things. So um, certainly think about it as a career choice. It's rewarding. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. And you get to meet people you would never meet in other walks of life. And you also come out with some really good, solid friends from being on a film set week after week. OK? Right. Well, good luck to you all. And... Have a good life.